In this problem, they give us a quadratic function. So it's f of x equals 4x squared minus 16x plus 9. And they want us to find the vertex. So we have to use the formula. So recall the formula for the vertex was negative b over 2a, comma, f of negative b over 2a. Whenever it's in standard form, you can use the switch it, keep it trick. But when it's not, you have to use this formula. OK, so a here is equal to 4. That's our a. And then b is equal to negative 6, 16. We don't need c for anything. Sometimes I write c accidentally, but it's not really used. OK, so x is equal to negative b over 2a. So we first work out this piece. So b is already negative, so negative and negative is going to be positive. But I won't skip the step. So there it is, negative and negative over 2a, 2 times 4. So here, this is going to be 16 over 8, which is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2. That's actually the axis of symmetry, but the question uh, did not ask us for that. Now that we have the 2, we just take it and we plug it back in here, right? Because we've worked this piece out here. This is 2. So this is just basically f of 2, right? That's what we have to compute. So f of 2, so that's 4 times 2 squared minus 16 times 2 plus 9. So plugging in 2s for all the x's. So this is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So we get 16 minus 32 plus 9, okay? 16 minus 32 plus 9. 16 minus 32 is minus 16. Then we add 9, so we get minus 7. Wow, scary. <laughs> so f of 2 is equal to minus 7. So the ordered pair here is 2 comma negative 7, right? Negative 7 is this number here. So that's our vertex. So let's try it, make sure we got it right. So I'll go ahead and type it in. So let's see, so parentheses, 2, comma, negative 7, parentheses. And then I'm going to click check answer. And that's it, we got it right. <laughs> Hope that made sense.